everybody and welcome to this week's assembly with me, Miss Catherine. First, I want to apologize that we didn't have an assembly last week. Um, as you guys know, our big barn dance fundraiser was the weekend before and man, I was having a rough time and I lost my phone so I didn't have anything to film on and so we just didn't have an assembly for last week. But we're here today. It is Tuesday because yesterday, Monday, was a school holiday. So um, I do want to tell you guys we had a very successful fundraiser and I am excited to let you know um, that between the art that was completed uh, for the last year's barn dance that got canceled, those three paintings, and the plant pots that were completed this year, those four items altogether brought in $785 in our auction. So thank you to everybody who participated in making those items. Um, they were a great success with our auction and as part of our big fundraiser. So way to go, guys. You're awesome, and I appreciate all of you. All right, I don't have a ton this week in the way of announcements and things, I do need to remind you guys that we are coming up on summer. Um, so let your parents know that they can register online for summer. And if they have any questions, they should be getting a parent video sent out to them, hopefully today that answers most of those questions. Um, but we will run a summer program. It is all day. We serve breakfast and lunch and we'll have activities uh, throughout the entire summer. So we hope to see some of you guys here. I know some of you guys are already registered and we are very excited about summer. Also, don't forget the last day of school is early release and you will come here when you get out of school at lunchtime. So we will be with you guys for the entirety of that day. So if your parents have any questions, let them know. The buses will bring you here just like normal and you'll be here for the full day. All right. I do need to announce April's Youth of the Month, because I should have announced it last week in the first assembly of May, but we didn't have one. So um, our Youth of the Month, remember, to be eligible for Youth of the Month, you have to be awarded Youth of the Week at some point during that month. So everybody who got Youth of the Week in the month of April was in the running to be Youth of the Month. But what we look for in Youth of the Month is someone who was not only kind and helpful and making good choices for the week that they won Youth of the Week, but who carried those qualities throughout the entire month. So the person who we have selected as Youth of the Month for the month of April is somebody who has been in a been in a group that has been having a lot of struggles lately. Um, this group has had difficulty maintaining their group agreement. They have had trouble being respectful to each other and to staff. Um, but this person in that group has routinely stayed out of the group drama. This person has made the good choice to take a break from their activity group when they were getting too frustrated with what was going on. And so he removed himself from the situation before he made a bad choice um, to kind of follow what everybody else in the group was doing. Um, this person has been uh, attending the club for quite a while and is always friendly, always kind, always respectful. And those are great qualities that we look for in our youth of the month. So. For those reasons and many more, our Youth of the Month for the month of April goes to Drake B. Congratulations, Drake. Um, I will get with you to see what color water bottle you would like, and I will get that ordered for you. All right, I do need to announce our Youth of the Week for the first week of May, May 3rd through May 7th. We have three Youth of the Week for that week, um, and you guys... Uh, if your staff member doesn't have your certificate, it's at the front desk for when you leave. So our first Youth of the Week for the first week of May goes to Miss Jetty C for being nice, avoiding group problems and drama, and being respectful. Uh, our second Youth of the Week goes to Corey B for showing kindness to others. And our third Youth of the Week goes to Miss Chloe W for being patient with the other members of her group. Congratulations, guys. You are the winners of Youth of the Week for the first week of May. Now, I do also need to announce our Youth of the Week winners for the second week of May, which was last week, the 10th through the 14th. We only have two winners for Youth of the Week last week. Um, the first one is somebody who 
was in a situation where she was not treated very nicely or very fairly and she had a very good response to that. She did not retaliate. She did not um, come back in the same fashion and uh, we're really proud of that. So for that reason, our Youth of the Week goes to Joy T. Congratulations, Joy. And then our second Youth of the Week goes to a new member uh, who has done very well at avoiding drama in his group, uh, being kind and respectful to staff and upholding the group agreement even though he is the newest member. Uh, so for those reasons, our last Youth of the Week goes to Mason B. Congratulations, Mason. Now again, if your staff doesn't have your certificate, it is at the front desk with your club bucks and you can get those uh, when you leave. That's it for me today. Thanks for listening and I will see you all next time.